2001, the Irish government joined with IBEC in a bid to bring the Irish music industry to its full potential. They wanted to improve infrastructure, upgrade facilities and promote music from Ireland both nationally and internationally. They created the Music Board of Ireland. The idea of it was great. The idea that um, a board should overlook the infrastructural build of an industry. I think we really need somebody, uh, some organisation to look at music on a national level. John O'Donoghue, the Minister of Arts, Sports and Tourism, made the decision to discontinue the music board. If you want to do something, you have to do it yourself, mm. especially with Dublin. Like, no one's going to help you, you know what I mean? There's definitely a complete lack of understanding of what it's like to, you know, be a musician. Initially, there's not, there's not a whole lot of help out there, really. Um, so you kind of have to, I guess, take the initiative and do as much as you can yourself. There are many, as many kids with guitars as there are with hurdies or, you know, whatever. So, and we're investing in sport. Money could be put into, could we put into rehearsal spaces? Being Cork, they need to give us some practice rooms. That's a new practice In Cork, there are no practice Zero. Absolutely nothing. Rock music, or whatever you want to call it, different types of music, bands, whatever, the way it's perceived in relation to the rest of the arts in Ireland is very poorly. Like, it's barely even considered an art by the Arts Council. For sure, there's more support for uh, um, classical and opera than there is for Indian rock. After all, those who go to the National Concert Hall of a week are likely to vote, whereas, like, I me, mean, those who go to Queen's of the Village are unlikely to vote. I mean, they're normally seen as apathetic and non political. I haven't got a clue what bands are supposed to start or not start. It should be that radio is the best place. It should be that that is the biggest stepping stone. And I think it has lost a lot of power. It's funny, like, how someone like John O'Donoghue who probably grew up in the 50s and the 60s is complete like would be completely so unaffected by the kind of cultural change that went on in those decades that he would kind of perpetuate that politician you know not giving money to, to needed areas of the arts you know what I mean John O'Donnell was a politician I, I, all politicians will tell you exactly what you want what you want to hear I, I'd be very interested to know to hear his reasons to camera why he hasn't he didn't actually continue supporting the music board and who was on the music board um, representatives, I don't know, no idea. And um, why do you think it stopped after three years? Pardon? No, stop again. Ask me that. Look, look I won't do the interview at all. You're asking me questions that are involved in too much statistics, all right? Sorry about that. Uh, why won't you do the interview? Oh. I, 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 because you're asking me questions that I couldn't possibly answer. Oh, right. well, who's on the music board? No, we'll be happy. That's what they have to get on. Okay.